I come from a low income area in London. There was there's kind of that stigma that is attached to that, that um, university might not be the best place for you. When I came from my open day, it did feel a bit like, at first I did hesitate about um, if I'm gonna feel like I belong. Easier way to phrase it is imposter syndrome. As you're sitting in a lecture theatre, you sit there and you want, and you start to think someone else should be sitting where you're sitting right now and you should be doing something else. I feel like that barrier is kind of more apparent if you're a black student. Representation really matters. I think for a lot of people to know that such pathways are available to them, to know that academics don't all have to be old white people. When I started my course, I did not see one single black lecturer. You might think to yourself, well, maybe I might not be able to get there because maybe there's something that they have that I don't have. But as soon as you see someone that looks like you or is, you know, is from the same background as you, represented at that higher level, you think, oh, you know, then, you know they, they've gotten there. I can do that too. When you see people like David Lammy, when you see people like Bim Afalami, when you see people, uh, black people who are successful in politics. And you, know, you can ask them about how they got there and you get that extra experience and knowledge and more specific information that might be more tailored to you. One of my lecturers is black, he's a black man. He said this was his first year that he's had um, like more than one black student on the course and he was like so hyped because I've never grown up with that, like I said, predominantly white area. All my teachers my whole life have been white. So, like, the difference and feeling represented. They obviously, of course, everyone sometimes feel like they don't belong, but they might not feel that in the sense of race. You know, I feel that in the sense of race because there's so many places I go to and majority of what I see is white. Since Black Lives Matter sort of exploded in like the popular consciousness last summer, there's been a slogan, Representation Matters, that has also exploded. At first, I really agreed with it. Like, you know, it's important to see people who look like you in the institutions where you want to be part of. But the answer is not representation. Um, I, I don't like the term Representation Matters because it's too simple the problem is why um, you don't have any black professors. In my opinion, the causes are, are economic deprivation. It is like about the, the sort of examples that you give and telling people that they are capable, but also like no matter how capable you are, if you're stuck at an underfunded school, um, it, like, it's nearly impossible to sort of just attitude your way out of it. When I started at uni I think universities try a lot to definitely support people from low income backgrounds. Um, there's things like bursaries um, that most unis but this uni definitely has um, and that really really helped me in my situation. You don't really hear about that prior to coming to university, you don't really hear about the different support um, opportunities and I think the focus and the emphasis is always on your personal statement and going through UCAS and not really highlighting the benefits of going to university beyond your educational experience. Once I sort of discovered the community and I realised that actually you know we are here um, that I felt like oh I could actually belong somewhere which is why I also joined BWP Black Women's Project because um, I realised that I could be part of that startup and bring that community to light. WAMSOG, also known as Widening Access to Medicine Society, is a society that was created approximately now six years ago, um, all for the sole purpose of helping students from widening access backgrounds get into medicine. We go into schools, you know, so high school, sixth form, primary schools, and we essentially you know, help students with the uh, med uh, medicine applications, and we kind of give them a lot of the tools that they won't get from a lot of high schools or sixth forms. In my sixth form, only two students went to do medicine. So I went back because I feel like you can really identify with a lot of them because you can see the same struggles they're going through. Because when I applied, um, our head of sixth form said, you know, this guy, he went to med he did medicine and that was five years ago, but he's still helpful. <laughs> so I thought, you know, it'd be nice if they had somebody a little bit more recent. <laughs> my lecturer, he definitely does try to 
integrate diversity into our modules. By having an array of different people represent, of representation, you get a lot of different views in, embedded into the decisions that are made. The way things are might be more specific and might have a more profound effect on a specific culture. So if you have someone from that culture or that background, they can provide you with that viewpoint. And then it gives you that comfort that you know that you're going to be represented as best as possible at that higher level.